here on my YouTube channel, it's Baking Mad Monday. I'm Eric Landart and I'm gonna show you how to bake my delicious lemon meringue cupcakes. Okay, so the first part of the process is to make um, your lemon curd. First thing is to get a bain-marie running on, 175 gram of sugar. Personally, I like using, when I can, um, unrefined sugar. I find it gives you a better taste to all the recipes. I'm just gonna squeeze two lemon. So I'm just gonna break two eggs, and as soon as I put the egg inside, I start mixing. Because the acidity of the lemon juice is gonna cook the eggs. Okay, so final ingredients, 110 gram of unsalted butter. That's gonna go inside our mixture. And that's it, we're just gonna need to cook it now. Place the bowl above simmering water. Make sure the bowl sit above the water, which allow the steam to eat the mixture. You need to keep whisking so the egg don't scramble. That's done. You can see it start to thicken, but as it cool down, it will get very thick and you know, very spreadable actually. That's the kind of texture we, uh, we're looking for. And we're just gonna pour the mixture, the lemon curd, inside our jar. With the center done, now it's time for the vanilla sponge. Cream 100 gram of unrefined caster sugar with 100 gram of soft, unsalted butter. And people always underestimate this part, the creaming of the butter and the sugar together. That's very important. That's gonna give you the fluffiest sponge ever. So we start at slow speed. And what we're looking for really is for the, the mixture to look almost like creamy. We really need to work at it. The sponge is flavored with vanilla. So scrape the seed from the vanilla pulp, add two eggs, one at a time, and mix. And you can see it's nice and smooth. We don't want to over mix it, because it's gonna start to split it up. We're gonna add our dry ingredients now. 100 gram of self-raising flour. So we're just gonna fold the flour We're just gonna grate the skin of our lemon. And the zest are there just to bring the full flavors. So we fold the zest in, and I'm gonna add a little secret ingredient. I'm gonna add these little cubes of candied lemon juice. Just a few sprinkle. So mixture is ready, we're ready to, uh, to bake. Fill the piping bag half full so it's easy to use and pipe the vanilla and lemon sponge mixture halfway up in each cupcake. Put the cool lemon curd into the center of each cupcake. Mm, so tangy and fresh. Now fill each case three quarter full with the lemon and vanilla sponge in each case allowing them to rise in the oven from the heat. And as your cupcake are baking and rising away, why don't you take a break and subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Take the cupcake out of the tin, which will stop them cooking and keep them moist. Now for the topping, an Italian meringue. 100 gram of unrefined caster sugar and water are placed on the hob and reduced. Put two egg whites in a mixer. Once they have least double in volume, add in your sugar syrup and keep whisking. So what's happened, you got like that very, very hot sugar with like, um, you know, over under 20 degrees and it's gonna cook the egg whites. So just keep mixing it till you feel your bowl is, um, is nice and cold. And what you will find as well is um, as it gets colder, the meringue's gonna get thicker. The result is a gorgeous, soft, sweet marshmallow texture. Perfect for piping. Keep a flow of meringue and keep moving around for a neat look. Finish with a flourish. Gently toast each cupcake, preferably with a blowtorch. 
Whatever your method is, be careful not to burn the meringue as it will taste bitter. As a final decoration, add a zest of lemon and a sprinkling of icing sugar. When you're going to bite it, you're going to get that lovely crust and the meringue, the cupcakes, and of course, the secret in the center. This is my lemon meringue cupcakes. See the text below for the full recipe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting baking.